All right, what's up guys, Poison here, and I'm back, and today is, oh, that's the wrong menu. Today is Saturday, see, Saturday, July 23rd. You guys are seeing this tomorrow or today, you know. Now, I'm gonna talk about some random things. Um, I'm not gonna keep the gameplay to the game itself. I'm gonna try to talk about random things going on in life. Um, once again, I said this on Thursday and Fridays, um, Thursday and Fridays, uh, quick play. I have a very special, important video to talk about tomorrow. Um, it's not going to be gameplay of anything. It's actually going to be me talking to the camera one-on-one. -on -one, and I'm going to give you my full undivided attention. Because um, this video is going to be very important. It's going to be about the channel. Um, but I'll be back. Trust me. I'll be back. That's kind of... That's not a spoiler. That's just something suspenseful to get you guys knowing that I'm not leaving forever. But, yeah. Expect the video to come out tomorrow at like 5 to 6. Sometime in between there. We're to see what we could get. What's it? Our... Oh, well, we need to grab that immediately. So we're going to go to our boneyard and do that. We're going to give some support first off. And now, uh, Demons Cross has a new mode called Multiplayer or something like that. Uh, I'll check it out right now. Or I'm not going to check it out like use it, but I'm just going to get to the main menu and show you guys. Let me just get rid of all my support. Let's try the lottery. Let's see what we can get. Um, I know as of recording this, fucking Christ, it's just all boneyard passes. Uh, I'm only going to take five passes through the boneyard, so just be aware of that. I'm not going to go through the whole passes and everything. But, um, yeah, I know as of the time of recording this, I have someone who wanted to send me a message. Um, I had to ignore the message because I was out. So it's extremely late to be, for me to be recording. Like I said, it's already 9-10. As you can see right here in the bottom corner, the second to last one is multiplayer. It's a whole new thing. I don't know. I haven't played with it yet. I know you guys are going to know more about it than I would, but I just haven't used it yet. So, on to why this video is being recorded extremely late. Or not extremely late, I've recorded at like 1 in the morning before, but pretty late with when I usually record. So, today my parents decided to take me and my little sister out to go to downtown Sacramento, old Sacramento, and we essentially just play Pokemon Go. I went from like 50 Pokemon, no, I had like... 35 to 40 Pokemon I ended up getting up to 100 and now I'm back down to like 50 ish or something like that um, Caught a lot of Pokemon I hit a lot of Pokestops. I hit so many that I essentially don't even have um I have no more room for my Pokestop stuff But yeah, so I'm officially full of stuff. I need to start getting rid of like incubators and stuff I'm gonna start incubating all my eggs and speaking of incubating I finally hatched my my first um, 5k egg and all I got was a polywag a little disappointed but whatever it was strong um, the reason I was disappointed is because I needed a polywag because I never had one and earlier that day like literally 20 minutes before I ended up hat or I ended up catching a wild polywag and then my egg hatched to another polywag so I'm like really game really but whatever um, I have another 5k egg going right now. As soon as this game is done, or as soon as I'm done recording, I'm going to use my normal incubators and, or my normal egg incubators and put three more 5k eggs to incubate. Just going to like speed do all them. Um, yeah, I was recording when the egg hatched, but it was super boring. There was nothing special. I'm like, it's just a polywag. If I would have got some amazing, then yes, I would have recorded and uploaded it, but nothing special happened. Um, onward. So, on to the next topic. Still on the topic of Pokemon, though. So, it's not Pokemon Go, but, um... Recently, I read news about what's happening to Pokemon X and Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Um, I don't have Omega or Alpha, but I do have X... Oh, no, I have Pokemon Y, but my sister has Sapphire and X. And, um, if you have X, Y, Omega, and Alpha... And you like Pokemiles, guys, save up all your Pokemiles and use them. Let's see. Today is the 23rd, tomorrow's 24th, 25th. On Tuesday, July 26th through October, any item available on, like, any item available through the Pokemile store is going to be half off. So start, like, hatching your eggs. Start trading out random things you want. Gather as many Pokemiles as you can until October. Or gather as many Pokemiles as you can and just start spending them on stuff. As soon as October comes around, unfortunately, the Pokemon store is going to be taken down. So that's very unfortunate news. I really did like using Pokemon because that's how I got all my uh, Pokeballs. But yeah, the Pokemon or the yeah the Pokemon store. I don't know what's really called. 
is going to be gone after October. So you have till October to buy stuff. Now, they're saying wait till Tuesday because that's when you're going to get... Um, Tuesday is when you're going to get half off through everything. So from July 26th to October, everything's going to be half off. So, you know, just start playing. Speaking of uh, Pokemon Y, I've had the game since it released. Like, mm -hmm. I, I got it a few months after it released, but I honestly never beat the game yet. And I'm barely just getting around to it. Now, Friday night, or yesterday night for me as of right now, I finally ended up being the Psychic Gym. And one thing about me, I'm a ghost trainer. I like ghosts. The only ones I don't... The only Pokemon that I have that aren't ghosts are Chestnut and Houndoom. But Chestnut has a ghost move. Houndoom has dark moves. But I'm a huge ghost trainer. I love ghosts. And I just went through the Psychic Gym like nothing, honestly. Of course, Psychics are weak to ghost, I believe. Yeah, I believe they're weak to ghosts. Um, I don't know much about Pokemon, honestly. I love Pokemon, but I'm not like a nerd for stats about it. But I believe that... Um, that, you know, Psychics are weak to Ghost. But I just mopped the gym up. Like, one hitting everyone. Um, oh, sweet. Uh, Navy Seal. But yeah, I just went through the gym, no problem. And I'm pretty sure I could beat the game before the end of this week. Um, even if I don't, I'm taking the game with me. Uh, that's kind of a spoiler, but kind of not. Once again, stay tuned for tomorrow's video where you'll hear more about it. But yeah, uh... Pokemon Y, pretty fun. Um... I don't think I'll ever do a Pokemon Let's Play, honestly. Like, I don't foresee myself doing that on the channel, because I can't sit down and play Pokemon for a long time. It's just not my style. It's a fun game, but just not something I could commit to. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say it. I have some plans for Pokemon and some tattoos. Not going to get into it, because, you know, as soon as I say this, it's going to be out in the open, and anyone can do it, and I don't want others to do this. I want this plan to be original to me. Until I show it off in a video, but yeah. You know, um, I really have a big plan for some tattoos ideas in Pokemon. Um, I hope I haven't talked about them before because, like I said, I know a lot of people steal a lot of ideas on the internet, and I don't want other people to steal this shit. I want these ideas to stay genuine to me. As soon as I get them, then whoever wants to steal it can steal it. I don't care. But I'm saying I want to be the first one to get these, so yeah. That's just me being me. Um... On to PC gaming news. So, uh, let's go with Humble Bundle. So, Humble Bundle, as you guys are seeing, this still has, it's still going on. Um, I ended up buying the 2K Humble Bundle, and that Humble Bundle was amazing. Now, the first three tiers you get for the game, if you just spend like a dollar, you end up getting, um, Spec Ops The Line, The Darkness 2, and Duke Nukem Forever. Meh. Don't care for Duke Nukem, but Spec Ops The Line and um, Darkness 2, for a dollar, I'll take it. Now, the next one, for like $8, you ended up getting Civilization 5, NBA 2K 2016, um, Mafia 2, and Battleborn uh, Summer Skins. Plus, this upcoming Tuesday, the 26th, when, you know, everything will be half off on Pokemon, um, or up until, you know... Um, this Tuesday, they're going to release more games in the Humble Bundle. If you buy it now, you will get those games when they release. So, I'm going to get those games when they release. But if you pay $15 or more, you actually end up getting Battleborn. Yes, Battleborn. The game that came out two months ago, you get it for $15. Normally, $60 on Steam. So, that's an amazing steal. Plus, you get 230 coins to use in Battleborn. And... You also get Borderlands, a pre-sequel. Normally $40 on Steam. So for $15, you're getting amazing games. Um, if you guys don't know about Humble Bundle, every month they have a new bundle. And it's not just um, it's not just like PC games. They have like a book bundle. They have a mobile bundle. Um, they have others, I think. But mainly they do PC Steam stuff for uh, Windows. And you get amazing games super cheap. I know last month they had um, the Sonic the Hedgehog series. They had like pretty much every Sonic game, including Sonic Generations, all on Steam for, once again, $15. Now, the great thing about Humble Bundle is you could choose how much you pay. You could choose $1, $8, $15, $25, uh -huh. or you could put in your own custom amount. Now, the normal, you know, it depends on what how um, 
big of a bundle you want to get. The normal bundle costs 15 for everything. I ended up paying $17 because, you know, I don't have a lot of money to spend. And I'll talk about that also on tomorrow's video. But, um, yeah, I ended up spending $17. I'm like, all right, $2 more. It's not that impressive, but, you know, everything on Humble Bundle goes to charity. And I believe they let you choose what charity you go to. But, yes, you can put in your own custom amount. You could pay $17. You could pay $20. You could pay $100. I remember seeing someone paid $100 for the game, others paid like $50, and it even gives you statistics after you purchase. The average amount people pay is like $8.88 for a bundle. I'm like, alright, whatever, I know not everyone can afford as much, but the average people are paying is $8.88, I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I ended up buying this Humble Bundle. Now, I honestly was having trouble deciding do I want the bundle or do I want to buy a Humble Monthly. Now, Humble Monthly is a subscription service, almost like Zamplebox for you guys who watch my vaping videos. I will also talk about vaping on Monday. That's going to be something very, very tricky to do. But yeah, that's going to bring some bad news to the vapors. But yeah, um, Humble Monthly, you pay $12 a month. It's deducted every Friday at the end of the month, they were saying, I believe, if I remember the details correctly. And they send you one premium game. This month, um, it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Multiplayer Experience Only, which is cool. I didn't buy it, and I'll talk about that in a second. But it's the multiplayer experience. They bundle you one major game, then they bundle you with a bunch of, like, indie games. And there's some good indie games, but it's basically just one big game plus a bunch of indies. Now, um... Before, they've had, like, Mad Max on the, um, bundle as the, or the monthly as the main game with some, uh, good, uh, indies. They had The Forest. They've had some good games. Um, the reason I didn't go for it this month, and I wanted to, but I decided not to, is because the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer experience, or multiplayer starter pack is what it's called, I believe. It's really limited, honestly. You are very limited what you could do. If you have Steam, even if you don't, go onto the Steam website and look up Black Ops 3 Multiplayer Starter Pack. Um, I'm just going to tell you what I know off the top of my head. It's the base multiplayer only. No single player, no zombies, no Dead Ops Arcade. Um, you can only reach level 55. Afterwards, you cannot prestige. Uh, let's see. I don't think you can customize your weapons that much. I believe it's like very limited. But it's a very bare bones game, and I just saw it and I thought, you know, that's cool and all. But I already have Black Ops 3 for free on PlayStation 4. Now I talked about I don't think I ever talked about this. Back in December, I I was on a live stream with one of my favorite live streamers, uh, Nick Koov on Twitch, and he was with Ice Nine Kills, one of my favorite bands. I'm actually well, I'm always wearing my Ice Nine Kills uh bracelet. But essentially they gave away um Free copies of Black Ops 3 uh, with everything. All the DLC, all season pass, all future DLC, all past DLC. You know, even the stuff you had to pre-order, it came with. So I ended up winning that. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so amazed. I'm so happy. Only problem, not really major, is that it's for PlayStation 4 only. Now, I do want to get a PlayStation 4, but I just don't have one yet. So essentially, I just have like a free game. But, you know, I'm going to... Once I get a PS4, I'm going to start playing, you know, Black Ops 3. And as of recently, I've been wanting to play Black Ops 3 really bad. Now, um, you know, Black Ops 3 looks like a fun, fast-paced shooter, which it is, basically. But, you know, I've been wanting to play like a fast-paced shooter. I've been watching this one guy on YouTube here called, hey, it's BBG AUS for, like, Australia. And the dude plays Black Ops 3, and I've been, like, looking at this game like, damn, I just hella want to play Black Ops. I don't have anything to play it on, so I'm like, oh, whatever. So, you know, this led me into, like, a thing. Like, Black Ops 3 looks like a very fast-paced, sh fun shooter, very arcadey, but very fast-paced. So I'm like, fuck, I really want to play Black Ops 3. What am I going to play it on? I don't have anything to play it on. Even if I would have bought it on Humble Monthly, my computer can't run it. So, essentially, I would just have a game sitting there. Like I do, I can't run Battleborn either, but it's going to sit on there until I get my, um... Until I get my upgrade. Or until I upgrade my computer. So that's going to happen hopefully within the next month. I'm already dead set. I'm going to buy the GTX 1060. We'll talk about that in a second. Sorry. But looking for these games. Um, 
I decided to start playing some free-to-play games. And I came across a game that's been out for a year, and I'm very sad I barely started playing it. But I came across the game Dirty Bomb. So, Dirty Bomb. It's a fun, fast-paced, first-person shooter. And I truly do love the game. Now, the cool thing about Dirty Bomb is that, if you don't know, that it has, uh... Oh, goddamn, a Zero Dragon. Oh, we beat it. Sweet. Dirty Bomb has cases such as Counter-Strike, Payday 2, uh, Killing Floor, except the cases in the game are completely free. You don't have to pay to open them. So I've already opened about four cases. I eh, got some decent stuff. Nothing major. Nothing video-worthy, unfortunately. But it allows you to open these cases for free. So I've opened up four of them. And the game is extremely fun, extremely fast-paced. I recommend everyone trying it out. The only problem I have with the game is it's probably just my computer. But the frames keep dropping and there's always a little bit of lag. So that's extremely hard to play a first-person shooter. But the game has beautiful... Or the game runs at like 120 frames. But generally it'll drop down majorly to like... You know, going from like 120 frames to 60 like all of a sudden. 60 frames is good for videos and stuff. But when you're playing like in the heat of the moment, going from like 120 to 60... It's a noticeable change, and it's extremely hard to play until it bounces back, so... That's probably just my graphics card. Um, and yeah, just lag. There's just occasional lag. Which, it might be due to the frames dropping, I'm not sure. Now, on the hunt for games that were fun, I decided to look up an old game I used to love. Hey, sweet, Beelzebub. I end up looking up um, Blacklight Retribution, start playing it again... God, I haven't played that game in years, and the game is just completely different now from what I'm used to. So I guess we're going to go for this guy. Oh, <clears throat> new booty. Um, But yeah, so where was I going to go? I was going to go Dirty Bomb. What was I going to talk about? Excuse me, I'm going to grab some wine, I think. Oh, I was going to talk about um graphics card. So, I was going back and forth between, do I want the RX 480 or do I want the GTX 1060? Oh, god damn, this is going to be horrible. Yup. So, I'm going with the GTX 1060, honestly, because I love a few things NVIDIA has. First off, NVIDIA has, uh, PhysX. Now, one thing about me is I really love the Borderlands series. I love Borderlands 2. Borderlands 1's nice, but I love Borderlands 2. Have yet to play Borderlands pre-sequel, but I own it now thanks to Humble Bundle. Talked about it earlier. So, I used to play uh, Borderlands 2 on PS3 all the time. That was my go-to console. Um, and, um, yeah, I ended up looking like some Borderlands 2 on PC just to see what was different. And I come across NVIDIA's video talking about GeForce, or talking about physics. So, I saw this and I fell in love with physics, honestly. Now, I'm not sure how many games take advantage of physics, but I know the Borderlands series definitely takes advantage of it. So, I'm like, dude, I need to get a f I need to get the Nvidia for that. Secondly, Nvidia also has Shadowplay. Now, I don't have any experience with Shadowplay. I don't know much about it, but I know Shadowplay is supposed to be like an onboard recorder for like Nvidia cards. So, um you can record in the background, and it's supposed to be zero lag because it's something in, like the card itself has um, a built-in like game recorder. Now I'm not sure how good it works for YouTube. We're just gonna skip this. I'm not sure how good it works for YouTube. Um, obviously, after I upgrade my computer, after I get the um, after I get the graphics card and the RAM into it, I'm of course gonna buy the Elgato HD 60s. So I'm gonna have something permanently attached to it to record. But, you know, just having Shadow play for the moment in case an awesome, like, clip happens. You know, just make a little montage or something. That's why I want to have a uh, Shadow play. Now, once again, I have no experience with it. I'm not sure how good it works, but hopefully it works good. Now, let's see. We're just going to play a few more rounds. Genie Priest. Um, uh, I want to say some more stuff. I'm trying to think of what else there is to talk about. Um, yeah, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to keep saying it throughout the video. Definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Once again, I'm going to make a live video. It's going to be about the channel. It's going to be about what's going to affect it for a while. Um, and for more suspense, like I'm saying, I will be back, so don't worry. But something's going to happen to the channel, and 
you know, it's going to be for the best. It's going to be amazing for the channel. It's going to help me acquire what I want to acquire with, because, you know, I'm going to get money. But, yeah, stay tuned for that video. It's going to be around, like, 5 or 6 p.m. I'm not sure when I do it. Um, yesterday on Friday, I was thinking about shooting the video, but I felt it was too early to confirm anything. But now it's Saturday, and I can 100% confirm what's going to happen. And, yeah, uh, it's pretty scary, but it's going to be for the best. So let's just move on. Um, oh, on to PC games. We'll keep talking about PC because I'm sorry. That's just... Since I've gotten my computer back, honestly, that's all I've been on. I rarely touch my Xbox. I only touch my Xbox at night when I watch, like, anime or Netflix. And I watch anime on Netflix, too, so... Uh, I have two more episodes of Rosario Vampire to finish. Starting to love that show. Um, but someone in a Facebook group I'm in said, Oh... Or someone left a thread saying, hey, recommend me anime. And someone's all like, oh, I'm not going to get shit for this. But watch Uron High School Host Club. So I decided to check it out. And, eh, it's a weird show. Honestly, um, I feel Netflix spoils the show. Because it ends up giving it away, like, straight off the back if you read the description. But even then, within the first episode, you end up seeing what the description tells you. So it's not really, like, a spoiler, but it's kind of like, uh, I expect it now. Honestly, if you want to watch the show, go on to Arun High School Host Club and just go straight into it. Don't read the Netflix description. Try not to. At least watch the first episode. Then go read the description. So we're going to back onto here. Let's go to the right. Oh, no, we can't. I could use an energy drink, but I don't want to. Um. So we have to go to the midweek reward. Claim all these go chicks. Can we do a hunt? Yes, we can. Lottery? No, we're going to ignore lottery. We'll claim that. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just claim whatever we could claim. So we're checking the use dictionary. Alright, so we're going to back out. What? What do I want to level up? Because I know I have a few cards that I got last week, but um, nothing's come from them, honestly. Let me see. I After I'm done with this and I'm editing this video, I know I need a response to that one kid's comment. And I don't remember who the kid was. It was some, some kid Minecraft. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are, kid, but I know like your name has something to do with Minecraft. So it's, that's just all I can remember from him. But let's see. Like, I'm not doing this to show off. I generally just don't know what I have that I'm going to power up. What the hell do I want to use? I could get rid of so many cards. I just haven't done anything with them yet. Like, I'm 100% serious. Some of these cards could just go. I don't need them. Okay. So, one card I think I might keep. I don't care for the Navy Seal, honestly. I want to trade with someone. Or I don't want to trade. I want to give someone cards really bad. They don't play the game enough to use the cards. So I'm like, come on, just start playing. Just get to level 20. Then you could get these cards off my hands. You know what? No, we're not going to use any of these, actually. We're not going to power up anything. Or I probably will power up something. I'll do it off camera, though. I don't want to do it on video. Let's see. Currently at 23 minutes. Um. But yeah, another fun game I've been playing on PC... Um. To help, like, with calming down and stuff, like, relaxing, like, not too high stress or anything. I've been playing Oss a lot. Now, Oss is a rhythm game. I think I've talked about it in the past. I'm pretty sure I have. Now, Oss is a free-to-play rhythm game. You just have to make an account so you can download music. Um, and so you can keep track of your score. Super simple. Nothing too personal. No, I don't remember. I made my account months ago. But it's nothing personal. You don't need a credit card. Although, they do ask if you want to donate, but you don't have to. I probably will later because, you know, I love this game and I want to keep it going. Um, but yeah, also the free-to-play music game. The only problem, though, is some people might have a problem with this, is that it's primarily anime and Japanese music. Don't expect much like American music or rock. Um, I don't have a problem with this personally. I love Japanese music. It's really calming for me. That's why I listen to it when I, like, play Payday 2 or when I record and stream. But yeah, I know some people don't like Japanese culture, so I just have to say that straight out that that's what the game is. It's a Japanese game, and it's going to be basically Japanese music. 
primarily from animes too. And people can make their own beat maps, which is what like the music track is. But it's a really fun game. Once again, free to play. Um, <coughs> now, primarily they want you to play with mouse and keyboard using like the K and L or J and K buttons. And they want you to move around with the mouse. Me personally, I like the game and I really wanted to play it like on another level. So I went out and bought a tablet, a mono price tablet for me. I bought this months ago and I've been using that to play and it's a really fun game, honestly. Um, and I honestly want to live stream that game. Now, I have no problem live streaming the game. There are two options and this kind of goes back on what I said a long time ago, but just two options. I could play the game and I could live stream here on YouTube. I just shut off all audio because, seriously, I can already tell you, I'm going to be copyrighted. I will be copyrighted within seconds. So I could live stream it here on YouTube, just cut out audio. Or you guys could, you know, when I live stream OS, I'll tell, I'll make a video telling you guys. And you guys just go over to, you go over to Twitch. Because honestly, if I get striked on Twitch, I don't care. If they take away my channel on Twitch, I really don't care. Um, actually, my Twitch name is the same as my in-game name here on Demon's Cross. You know, Poison666. Um, but yeah, I've said before, I don't want to live stream on Twitch. I'd rather do it on YouTube where you guys could all get notified, but I don't want my YouTube channel getting striked with this content. So I'd rather go over and play on like Twitch where if I get copyrighted and I get like, you know, taken down, I don't care. It's nothing major, but if I were to play on YouTube, just, you guys have to be aware I'm cutting out all music. There's going to be no audio. All you're going to hear is me talking such as if I were playing like PC games at the moment. And I've even thought of recording videos for it, but, um, <coughs> I just haven't done it yet. Now, let me grab some more, because I've been talking for, like, damn near 30 minutes straight. Yeah, almost 30 minutes straight. So, let me grab a drink. Um. Let's go back to Pokemon Go for a second. Now, Pokemon Go is seriously a popular game. Like, I just can't believe how popular it is. Because while in Sac downtown in old Sacramento, tons of people just walking on their phones, a bunch of people hanging around certain areas. The game is so popular, there was a guy who was selling um, team stickers, like team decals for your car. And I'm like, that's cool, but, you know, that's not unique. Like, you know, it was just a basic decal of your, like, Team Mystic, Valor, or Instinct. I don't think I've talked about it. I'm Team Mystic. I'm just going to come on straight. I... I'd much rather prefer Mystic over Instinct or Valor. But yeah, it was just like, this dude's literally trying to sell these stickers. And I'm like, damn, I wonder if he's sold any yet. They were like $5. I'm like, meh. But there was a lot of Pokestops, a lot of lures on Pokestops. I probably should have dropped one of my lures, damn. Or I'll probably wait till I'm hanging out with friends. Then I'll just drop a lure and we'll just hang on like one area. What I would love to do, honestly, I'm saying it right now. For Pokemon Go, if there's, like, Sacramento people watching, um, I doubt it, but I would love to do a meetup one day and just go to, like, a place somewhere here in Sacramento and just drop a lure on top, or a lure module on top of a Pokestop and just hang out with people and, you know, just record and stuff. Now, once again, I'm not a big enough YouTuber to gather a rally like this, but it would be cool to do, you know, just be like, hey, guys, come meet me here. Let's hang out. Let's record. Let's chill, you know. I'm not in a position to do that, though. Like, I'm just going to be honest. I'm not big. I'm decent for, like, how much I do. Like, honestly. Honestly, I'm going to say, for the amount of work I put in, I feel I should have a little bit more subscribers. Not, like, a thousand, but I feel I should be, like, 170, 175. I'm just going to say, I'm sorry if that's, like... I'm sorry if my ego's too big, but I'm just saying, like, with the amount of work I put into this channel, I feel I deserve a little bit more subscribers. But, you know, if I was a bigger... YouTuber, I would definitely organize an event like that just to hang out with people. Um, and I was looking through a YouTube channel of someone I went to school with, and I don't want to sound super douchey, and I just don't want to talk shit so much, but this you, this person just is not the best when it comes to YouTube, unfortunately. But I was watching an old video of his where it was where he talks about his Elgato HD, like the original Elgato, how his broke. And he's like, great, I had to spend another $250. Mind you, this is after the Elgato HD60 already came out. And I was like, dude, where did you spend $250 on this capture card? And it was like broken in multiple pieces. I'm like, okay, this didn't just fall off like a table and break. Like someone smashed this on purpose. 
But then towards the end of the video, he's like, so guys, I've been having like a pretty bad time, but here's how everything could be changed. And I quote, he starts talking, or not, and I quote, I don't know why I said that. I'm not quoting anything. But then he talks about like how he's had like a bad time recently. And then he's just talking about like Markiplier. If you're watching this, please let me hang out with you for the day just to see what your recording process is like. Let me shadow you. Let me do all this. And then he's just like, I have my notebook here. I could write everything. It's like, look, if you don't want to put up with me, I have enough money for an airplane and a hotel. I don't have to be following you all day, but just let me see what your recording, editing, and upload process is like so I could try playing it to my channel. And I'm just like, oh, God, this is just straight cringe. I'm like, I'm just like, dude, please just, just stop. Seriously, just don't. Yeah, we got beat. I knew I was going to lose that one. Um, we're pretty much done with the boneyard. Where are we at? We're like at 32 minutes, 31 minutes. Um, I promised you guys five passes through the boneyard. So I have to go one more time. We're doing one more. Another one. This is going to be me getting my ass beat. I'm just going to come on straight. Actually, I might not get my ass beat. I might end this on a win. But another one. Let's go. One last pass. I'm pretty sure I could do this pass and then be done. We already know it's a robot Laura, so we know we're going to win. Any Lauras, I've never lost to a Laura, so whatever. Let's see. I could seriously just end this super fucking easy mode and take on that 1611, but I'm not going to. Jay Sanderson. Let's let's fast forward to Jay Sanderson. But yeah, guys, um, as we near the end of this video, I felt I got a good discussion now. Um, unfortunately, nothing major happened, as you guys saw. But I talked about Humble Bundle. I talked about Pokemon. And like I'm saying, I'll say it at the end, but, you know, I've got... A video has to come out very important it's gonna be huge to the channel it's gonna affect the channel pretty bad honestly just for a little bit don't worry don't worry everything will work out but I'm saying it is gonna affect the channel but I've got to do this for the best but I have a proposition I'm gonna propose in tomorrow's video once again stay tuned for five o'clock or uh, five o'clock is when I hope it comes out it to be between like five or six p.m. might come out later but it's not gonna come out before five o'clock and it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, my face, my camera, one-on-one -on -one video. Nothing like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to hide behind a microphone. I need to make this personal, so I need to actually show myself. I could definitely beat Na Natalie and Nathalie. I don't know how to say her name. But, oh, uh, he has an Azure Dragon and a Siegfried. So, I need to make sure my freaking, and I know, I keep forgetting I have to change my lineup on my on my Boneyard team. I need to put my strong ones at the end, not at the beginning. I know... <laughs> I was going to say his name. So, Faye's here on uh, Demon's Cross, but Fist Me Daddy on uh, YouTube, he uh, told me, he's like, hey, put your strongest cards at the end. Don't put them in the beginning. And I'm like, yeah, I need to try that later. I just keep forgetting. When I do these videos, I just instantly start recording. I don't, like, you know... I don't pre-plan these videos. I just start recording and start talking. That's just how I do it. This is a pretty easy win. I'm not going to lie. This might not be an easy win. I might have lied. Oh, fuck you, Anne Bonnie. Marie Antoinette. Get clapped. Oh, bitch, you're not doing it. Sorry, Roy184, but, you know, come on, man. GG. Either good game or get good. Either way you want to take it. But, um, yeah, we're already ending our video. So, guys, seriously, I said it multiple times. I'm saying it again. Definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a camera video. It's going to be huge to the channel. It has to be said. It has to be done. One, I already agreed to it. I can't back out now, but... Seriously, this is going to be huge for your channel, and it's going to provide me with some good money. It's going to provide me with enough money to be able to purchase my, you know, graphics card upgrade for RAM. I don't think enough to buy the Razer, and definitely not enough to buy a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One yet. But it's going to provide me with enough to do my computer plans. So until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Quick Play on tomorrow. Uh... Tuesday, Wednesday's in our Android time here with Demons Cross, I believe, I don't remember, 
Thursday and Friday, I have another Android time, or I have another quick play. Maybe Demons Cross on Sunday. I'm not sure. But once again, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to talk about a lot of things. It's going to talk about what's happening with the channel and what's happening with vaping. And a proposition for videos. So until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.